Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we begin our next panel for the wedding throw. This is week three of the wedding throw crochet along and we are going to be working uh, the outermost panel, the middle one, and the other side. If that feels intimidating, don't worry. These panels, because they're narrow and uh, the foundation stitch is a double crochet stitch, they work up quite quickly. So this week we are going to work on three panels. They are all exactly the same. So the video that you see today, you're just going to repeat that times three. Okay, so this is it here. And you can see that it features these running textured uh, cable V stitches. Um, they are quite pretty to look at, maybe a little intimidating at first, but don't worry. Uh, watch the video a few times if you need to, and hopefully uh, you will catch on. If you need any help, please again don't forget to uh, don't, or don't hesitate to either comment on this video or uh, head over to my Facebook page or my blog richtexturescrochet.com and uh, you can reach me over there as well email works I am so happy that you've decided to join me on this crochet along for the crochet along I am using a lion brand pound of love yarn it comes in these great big balls the texture is fairly soft there's a variety of colors uh, so that's the yarn I'm using today uh, today for the crochet along today for the three panels you'll need approximately 1200 yards of this yarn which is about one ball and a little bit more Okay, for the blanket in total, you're going to need four of the balls of Pound of Love by Lion Brand Yarn. You're also going to need a six millimeter crochet hook and a copy of the written pattern, which can be found for free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and it will be linked in the notes for this video. Thank you once again so much for joining me and while you're here please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel which features a variety of free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Now as I've mentioned already the panels that we will be working on this week are quite a bit narrower than the panels that we did last week. So this week uh, they're going to measure about each of them 5.5 inches by 55 inches so they should all be the same length but they're only going to measure about 5.5 inches in width which means we're going to have a much smaller starting chain so to begin you're going to start by making your slip knot and you're going to chain 21 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. You are then going to double crochet in the fourth chain from hook. So count in from your hook. One, two, three, four. You're going to double crochet into this chain and then double crochet in each chain all the way across. Once you have double crocheted all the way across, you're going to chain one and turn. Now at the end of that row, you should have uh, had 19 stitches. Your chain three at the beginning of your row is always going to count as a double crochet stitch in this pattern. Okay, so you'll have a total of 19 stitches, including that chain three. For row two, you're going to simply single crochet in each stitch all the way across. At the end of your row, remember to crochet in the top of that beginning chain three. You'll treat it as a stitch. So you'll have a total of 19 single crochet stitches. At the end of row two, you're going to chain three and you're going to turn. We are now going to start working some of that great 
textured, those cabled uh, running Vs that you saw there at the beginning of this video. To do that, you're going to start by working a beginning front post triple uh, cluster stitch. How you're going to do that is you're going to yarn over and you're going to insert your hook in the next stitch. You're going to yarn over and drop a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. You're then going to yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. That's going to be the first leg of your stitch. Next, you're going to count in uh, three double crochet stitches, four if you include your chain three there at the beginning. So you're going to count in one, two, three, four, and that's where you're going to work the next leg of this cluster, and it's going to be a triple front post triple crochet. So you're going to yarn over twice, you'll have four loops on your hook, you're going to insert your hook around the post of that fourth stitch. So you're going to insert from right through uh, around the back to the left. You're going to yarn over and you're going to draw up a loop. You'll now have five loops on your hook. You're now going to complete your triple crochet stitch. You're going to yarn over, pull through two loops, four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops, left with three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through all three remaining loops on your hook. And that's your beginning front post triple cluster. Next, you're going to double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So pull that front post stitch ahead a little bit. You're going to yarn over and double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So there's one, there's two, and there's three. We're now going to work a front post triple two together. With the first part of our stitch worked around the same post as the previous front post triple. So that's this one down here. That's where the first leg is going to be. So why don't we start that? We're going to yarn over twice. This is a triple crochet stitch. Working around that same post, so just below, insert your hook from right to left, yarn over, and draw up a loop. You're going to yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over, and draw through two more. You're going to be left with two loops on your hook. You're now going to complete the second leg of your front post triple two together. Yarn over twice, and this time you're going to skip three double crochet stitches. So down below here you have one, two, three. You're going to skip those three stitches, and you're going to work the next leg around that fourth one. So insert your hook from right to left, yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll have five loops on your hook. You're now going to complete the triple crochet stitch. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two more, and yarn over and pull through the remaining three loops on your hook. You can now see that you have the first of uh, your V's here laying over top your double crochet stitches. Next, you're going to double crochet in each of the three stitches, next three stitches. Now this time, when you work your double crochet stitches, you're actually going to skip that next one, okay, in back there, because this uh, cluster, this triple uh, two together, is going to equal one stitch. So you're going to skip that next stitch you're going to work your three double crochet stitches in each, uh, or one double crochet stitch in each of the next three. Okay, so you can see I've skipped that one. Starting with the next stitch, work your first double crochet stitch, second double crochet stitch, and your third. You're now going to repeat. You're going to repeat your front post triple two together. So I'll show you that once again here. So you're going to yarn over twice, 
you're going to work the first leg around that same post of the double crochet that you've worked your previous front post triple. So insert your hook right to left, yarn over, and drop a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two more. You're going to have two loops left on your hook. We're going to work the next leg. Yarn over twice, skip three double crochet stitches, one, two, three. Around that next one, you're going to insert your hook from right to left, yarn over, pull through two loops, pull through two more, and then pull through the remaining three on your hook. Skip the next stitch there and back and work three double crochet, one, sti one double crochet stitch in each of the next three. And three. Once again, you're going to repeat. Yarn over twice. Around the post of the same stitch as your last front post triple, insert your hook right to left. Yarn over, drop a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two more. Complete the second leg, yarn over twice. Count one, two, three. Now in that fourth one, you're going to insert your hook right to left, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through the final three. Work three double crochet stitches, skipping that one directly in between. There's one, two, three, and we're now going to work a, um, an ending front post triple cluster. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to yarn over twice, you're going to insert your hook around the post of that previous, uh, um, that post from the previous front post triple, yarn over right to left, and this is our ending front post triple cluster, yarn over, pull through, you'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two more. To complete the cluster, you're going to yarn over and you're going to work a double crochet stitch in that next single crochet stitch up top there, in the next stitch. Okay, so insert your hook, drop a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through the final three loops on your hook. And that brings that running cabled V to a close. You're then going to complete the row by working one um, double crochet stitch in that final stitch. At the end of row three there, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn. Now for row four, we're simply going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across, starting with that first stitch, single crochet. At the end of this row, you should have a total of 19 stitches. At the end of your row four, remember to single crochet in the top of that chain three. That chain three always counts as a stitch. This way your uh, sides will stay nice and even. You're then going to chain three and turn your work. Now for row five, we're going to continue working uh, those uh, cabled textured stitches. So we're going to start once again with the beginning front post triple cluster. You're going to yarn over once and insert your hook in the next stitch. Yarn over and drop a loop. You're going to then yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. That's the first leg. And then you're going to yarn over twice. Now to find the second leg, all you're going to have to do is count those three double crochet stitches in the center of that V and selecting the middle one, so the second one in, 
that's the one where you're going to start uh, your second leg. So you're going to insert your hook around the post of that second double crochet stitch in the group of three from right to left. Yarn over and drop a loop. You'll have five loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, pull through two more, and then yarn over and pull through the final three loops on your hook. You're then going to double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So pull that stitch forward. You're going to working in the next stitch, work one double crochet stitch, then two, and three. Next you will front post triple two together around the post of the previous front post triple and then you're going to complete the second leg around the second of those double crochet stitches of the three uh, in between the, in the next V. Okay so the first leg yarn over twice going back to that stitch where you finished off your last um, cluster, insert your hook right to left, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through two more. To complete the stitch you're going to yarn over twice, once again finding that second double crochet stitch in that group of three, insert your hook around the post, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two more, yarn over and pull through the final three loops on your hook. You're then going to double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Remember that that um, two together was a stitch so you're going to actually skip the next single crochet up top and you're going to start uh, your first double crochet stitch in that next one. So there's one double crochet, two, and three. Repeat front post triple two together. So yarn over twice, insert your hook around the post of that previous stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two more. Yarn over twice, find your group of three double crochet stitches. Uh, the next group of three, find that second double crochet stitch in that group. That's where you're going to work your second leg. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two more, and yarn over, pull through the final three. You're then going to work three double crochet stitches. Oops. What happened there? That was a triple. Here we go. You're going to repeat your front post triple two together. Three double crochet stitches. Then you're going to finish up with a front post triple cluster, an ending front post triple cluster. So yarn over twice, insert your hook around the post of that previous front post triple just below, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two more. Then you're going to yarn over once again and you're going to insert your hook in the next stitch yarn over and drop a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook and now you're going to complete a double crochet. So yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through the final three loops on your hook. The final stitch is a double crochet stitch worked in the final single crochet stitch. And that brings you to the end of row five. From now on in the pattern, you are going to simply repeat rows four and five until your work from the beginning measures about 55 inches. Once you have completed your 55 inches in length, you are going to repeat 
the single crochet edging that you worked for the first panel using the same uh, stitch counts for these long uneven edges uh, also as you did for the for the previous panel if you change the stitch counts from my written pattern just remember to work along this long edge the same number of stitches that you worked previously it'll make it much easier for joining in the end so remember to repeat this make a total of three panels you can set them aside and then we are going to work on joining them together thank you once again so much for joining me for this crochet along please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, you can follow me on Facebook. If you head over to the Facebook Rich Textures Crochet Community, you can share photos of your work in progress. Thank you so much. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.